Justin Ellis here with Comp Legends, and we are going to kick off the 2022 season with a doozy. It is the breakup, and we're going to we're going to get right into this workout. So, taking a look at this one, a four time. We've got 45 reps of each movement. These movements are going to be handstand push-ups, front squats, and box jumps. And the catch here, the the title, I like this one, uh, the breakup is obviously leading into that you get to break this up how you want to partition the uh, reps any way you would like uh, the barbell for this or the front squats are 135 95 and then the box jumps are going to be uh, 24 20 so pretty standard on that and then handstand push-ups would be a complete lockout uh, with the feet on the wall there okay so <clears throat> pretty standard uh, CrossFit movements, if I'm just looking at this one from uh, an athlete's point of view. Uh, obviously, the big thing here is the partition. It, uh, that could play some tricks into this one. So let's take a look um, at some of the game plan for the workout, the breakup. Three sets or less. Um, what we're talking about here is, is game plan this like it's a speed workout and and why i'm referencing that is think 21 15 9 style uh we know that from fran diane and there's plenty of others out there with, that are 45 reps of each movement now those both examples are couplets and so um this is a this is a triplet we got three movements so that is going to change that time domain just a little bit um but I think we're still looking at something like, you know, uh, under nine minutes is definitely a goal here. Uh, I think you're going to see some crossfitters that have, you know, in this workout, maybe uh, a, a couple strengths, but still probably a weakness. And they're sitting in that seven to eight range. <clears throat> if you really are pretty comfortable across the board with these movements, uh, I think you're trying to shoot into the sixes. And then that elite score may even be looking to shoot under uh, six on this uh, style of workout. But, you know, the, the cool thing about this one is not just about uh, all necessarily the skill sets. The partition will kind of play a little uh, something into the strategy. Uh, game plan or, or kind of strategy piece too, you know, there's something for everyone in this workout. Um, it has a lift. Uh, it's not a heavy lift, but with the volume, you know, that endurance, kind of strength endurance is, is definitely going to play a factor here. Uh, a gymnastic skill uh, with the upside down handstand push-ups. And um, we're seeing in CrossFit more and more uh, craziness when it comes to being upside down or just gymnastics in general. So this is, you know, kind of a fundamental RX gymnastic nowadays with all the just stand in place on your hands kind of well i guess not stand but you know what i'm saying um a, a static hold upside down <clears throat> um and then a, and a power movement meaning the the jump you know a, a power a kind of fitness movement uh, being able to generate the two feet takeoff on those box jumps so <clears throat> I, I really could see a lot of different athletes being able to settle into that what we were calling a good RX score of seven to eight minutes on this one, uh, based on the fact that you probably will have a strength in this workout. I, you know, I don't think typically if we see somebody that's a good lifter. Uh, you know, they may not be as good at some of the other you know, gymnastics. And in all reality, you, you may have two strengths in this workout, but that one weakness may put us into that seven to eight minute category. We need to uh, to play into that uh, skill set. It's a breakup don't get cute a little play here you know you're breaking up with somebody it's not time to be cute now you should have probably done that already but in the relevance of the workout uh you have some freedom within this partition style but not let's not overthink this too much i think if we do we can find ourselves with a little leftover especially on one of those weakness pieces uh, you know don't avoid the hard conversations here uh, because then you're just going to be left with that on your plate at the very end. 
I really think you do still take that 21-15-9 uh, in consideration. Uh, and I wouldn't do 21-15-9, but you, you, know, you know how that feels. Um, obviously, three sets of 15 here if you're pretty well-rounded with these three movements. Um, I could see uh, taking a weakness movement and turning it into four rounds and leaving the other two into the three sets of 15 or so. I could also see a descending um, configuration of these reps. So if, uh, you know, well, just like the 21-15-9, but maybe not as drastic, um, especially on maybe the the weakness movement. So say you're on, you know, handstands are not your strong suit. Uh, if you were able to do something like a 13, uh, 12, 11, I think it would leave with, what, nine, if I did the math right. Um, 14. Yeah, not, oh, maybe I, maybe another 11, actually. Um, don't quote my math there. But, um, you know, you get a little bit easier as the rounds go. And, and what I would do there is, is have that movement third. So, again, handstand push-ups might be the weakness. Maybe start with some box jumps just to get the whole thing kicked off. Uh, a 15, front squats of 15, if that's something that's possible. And look, that... I kind of just throw that one out there. That, that, not a lot of people are probably going to want to hang on to that barbell for 15 reps at a time. But let's just say you go that route. Um, now, that's where I would come in with that maybe first round of the handstands 15. But go back to the box for 15, the front squats for 15. Um, and actually, I, I said this backwards. I'm going to start with the handstand push-ups so that I go hand, at the very last round, right? Because it has four and the others have three, so on round three, I go handstands, um, let's go box jumps, front squats, and on that fourth round, it's gonna look like handstands, box jumps, front squats, handstands. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't back, do, you know, they're not back-to-back -back movements, so if you would've done it the way I was first initially saying it, that could've been a problem. So no, start with that weakness movement and then maybe give it four rounds rather than three so that there's some smaller rounds in there um with that and i think i did the math wrong too again so 15 uh 14 would be 29 uh let's see if we can go to 13 oh that's what it was 13 12 would be 25 11 would be 36 and then 9 would be 45 so i actually had it right uh <laughs> initially um so yeah, looking back at this workout, 45 reps of each, handstand push-ups, front squats, and box jumps. And you get to partition it the way you want. You get to break it up how you would like. Um, love any workouts that's going to have strategy because, again, you could be built perfectly for this workout and still come up with the wrong game plan. And somebody that's a little bit weaker in some of these categories could put together the perfect game plan and... You know, I, I like the fact that it comes down to game time, to, to game day, and we can still come out there, and you know, at, certain athletes can be relevant. All right, that's the challenge. Don't forget to comment your scores, but not only your scores, guys. If you have some other strategies on this one, you know, this is just taking a look at it and, and throwing out my two cents with a little bit of experience in CrossFit, but nonetheless, there might be another way to approach this workout. So let's see those scores. Uh, we check us out on Instagram, online, uh, and here on the podcast or the YouTube channel, Comp Legends.